Howdy tubers. I'll show you what I got here today. I got my gasoline air compressor with a Honda G160 motor on it. And I've put one, at least one, gasoline carburetor on this. Replaced it before. Tinkered with it many a times. It's never been perfect. I'm going to tell you, my opinion is that gasoline in today's world is a sorry fuel. I've ordered, what I've done here is I have ordered a $28 propane carburetor off of eBay. And I'm fixing to put that on there. And for right now, I'll just run it off of... Uh, I'll run it off of a grill bottle. Now that's not particularly the safest thing to carry around in the back of your truck. I have got several junk motorhomes around here with DOT, DOT approved propane tanks mounted to the side of the frame on them. So what I'm intending to do is mount one of them propane tanks to the frame of my truck over there on the passenger side and run a hose up inside the bed here to run generators and air compressors on or, or what have you. But for now, I'm going to run it on this. I'm fixing to throw this on there and see if it solves my problem. I'm pretty certain it will. This thing will run and it'll pop and die. It'll run a little more and it'll pop and die. And if you keep messing with it, it'll finally warm up and run, but it takes forever. And uh, I'm sick of it. I mean, I really believe today's gasoline is a trash fuel. I mean, most of my pickups are diesel. This particular one right here that we're sitting on the tailgate of, it is a gas burner. But I'm going to tell you, I'm not fond of gasoline. It's a lot of problems, especially if it sits around. Now, I've already adjusted the valves on this little engine, and I've done everything I can for it to make it run good on gasoline, and it's just, it's just too undependable. It just, it just won't hang. intense purposes that gasket is an exact clone and it really should leak well now we come to our first problem the propane regulator is going to hit the handle on the compressor right here now the question is after I get it all the way on is it going to have enough kind of think that it will. What I'm going to do, I'll remount this if I have to. Mm, but what I'm going to do for now is just take it loose right here. Mm. Boy, that's tight. They didn't intend for you to get that off. That is going to be fun to get off. I'm going to pull around and poke my hand with a screwdriver. Well, let me go put a small pair of vice grips on here and break this screw loose. Alright, I managed to get that screw loose. Some people may say I've got a screw loose, I don't know. You wouldn't have to have this hose right here because it's what this 
What this hose is for is you turn this valve to drain the float bowl on your carburetor before you switch over to propane. So that might be something else I may eliminate. What? There are gaskets with this. Let's look at the quality of them. Now we're just going. We're just going to run what we've done here. Let's see. Yeah. So far, so good. Now that propane regulator is not going to mount back where they had it and work. So I'm, I'm just getting behind it here to see if y'all can see me here. I'm going to have to redo this mount. I'll do that later off camera. I'm not concerned with that. Um, I can make a mount for it. That's, that's no problem. Get, uh, see if I can get this spacer off of here for the breather. There's a little plastic adapter there. I'll tell you what, that thing is on right. It doesn't really come stuck. There she is. Where the gas could come with it. Right there. We are going to use one of these gaskets. Let's see. Not that one. Not that one, and it's not that one. Now that's crazy. None of these gaskets are, are exactly correct. What we're trying to accomplish here. This is the closest one. Get that little bit of gasket off of it. I told y'all this. I think I told y'all this adapter was plastic, but it's really steel. This is spacer for the air breather. All right, now I hadn't put my choke lever on. There was a choke lever. It came in the box. It see if it's the same as my old one. It is identical. That means I have a spare. Alright. That's all still good. So far we're in good shape here. really like to have a gasket right here, but this kind of acts in a gasket. We don't have one of those. Get the fuel shut off, poke it out through there just so this it's back. Let's see. Let's get that VIN hose on. There we go. That looks good. Everything is 
copacetic with that. It's okay, it don't matter. No, that's the right bolt. I don't think I'm going to gas tank bolt. The other two are loose. This is really a quick, easy, a quick and easy procedure. I just sound like I'm aggravated because for the past several days I've needed to depend on this compressor and all I've done is have to crank it seven or eight times before it decides to before it decides to do okay for me on the job and you know it really slows me down when, when, uh, when my compressor's not running. I don't always need it, but when I do need it, I need it to work. See it, might as well go ahead and put everything back together 100%. But hopefully, I'm not going to have to go back in. I might go back and put a gasket where I was talking about there behind the air breather mount. say that's a complete installation um, other than the fact that this regulator is not mounted solid. Right now I really don't care about that. I'm not going to really concern me too much. take me longer to make that bracket for it than it did to push this carburetor on. I'll tell you that. This I got from Amazon. It's part number 2102 from Gas One. 11 water column low pressure regulator. Now when you look it up on there, on the website, the pictures say it's 1 PSI, but it's not. It's 11 water column. They, their websites are on And the one PSI might work fine, but that's not what I want. I want the 11 water column. And everything I've read, the 11 water column is what you want for these cheap little Chinese kits. Now I know Garrison makes a real good regulator for all these small engines, and I've got a couple of them. Matter of fact, I've got a couple that are not installed, but I'm trying to come up with an economical way to convert all of my small engines over to propane as well. Alright, uh, we're going to turn the fuel off even though there's no fuel tank. Now this is where you adjust the flow of your propane. Uh, presume because we don't have a T fit in here to do that like on the Garrison regulator so uh, I'm gonna just turn the tank on I don't hear any leaks hit the primer knob Ooh, it primes quick all right the vacuum from the engine is supposed to start this thing running let's start it see what it does see if it blows up on propane folks all right we're going to give it a little 
more of them. I tried to release the pilot valve and let it idle up. I sure don't want to do that. Okay, that popping business right there, the wet's dying now. That's what it was doing on gasoline. I kind of don't think the problem's with this. I've already adjusted the valves on this thing. The only thing I hadn't done is pull this cover and uh, look at the gap on the on the coil there. That's what it's doing before run a little bit and die. Same symptom as doing on gasoline, it's doing it on propane. I'm about at my wits end. I'm about ready to pull this Honda off and put a Predator on here and put all this on the Predator. Because something's up with this thing. so sensitive die so easy I'm beginning to think that the compression release on the cam is messed up or something something is wrong with this engine Never seen one act like this, except this one. I could change this thing out for Predator 212 pretty quick, and I have several. It's becoming very tempting. I really think I can make everything work. So 
There's the air compressor control and everything for the speed. down. You take the choke off, the stupid thing dies. About at my wits end with this thing. Put these little screws back in the back of this regulator before I lose them. I'm fixing to have to crank this truck and go to the subdivision and run the track hole for a few minutes and come back to this thing. It's just real likely to get a predator. Right along in there seems to be a sweet spot for me. Just like you turned it off. Something's killing this engine. It's running just like it did before. it's a Honda and it's made in Japan and not in China doesn't mean better quality see what I mean oh. I'm this close to putting a predator on here because I've had it with this engine I can't think of no reason for it to act like this. does run, it only runs for a minute.
this thing is so sensitive anything I do I don't think it's sensitive I think just it's ready to die at any moment but I know before on gasoline I could get this thing running it might run a few seconds and die it might run a minute and die but it's gonna die I'm gonna leave this all just like it is I'm going to drive my car to go run the track hole a little bit, and I'll come back to this. Well, I've improved on it. <clears throat> I'll tell you all what I've done. I uh, took the spark plug cap apart, and I eliminated the resistor in there. I wrapped a piece of aluminum foil around it <clears throat> and put it back together. That improved it, because that tested like 10,000 ohms, a little over 10,000 ohms, should be around five, <clears throat> but that didn't completely fix it. Next, I took the spark plug out of a brand new Predator engine I've got, because I've got like 50 of them in boxes in the loft. I bought them when they were $89 a piece. So, anyway, I took the, the cheap torch plug out of one of them and replaced the plug. Well, that helped it. What I'm fixing to do put the coil from the Predator motor on it and while I'm at it I thought this would be a good time to go ahead and try and see if the Predator pull rope assembly the whole cover will fit the Honda so we can verify that for future reference <clears throat> I'm hoping this I'm hoping this coil completely fixes this thing it's better and I had it running for about five minutes while I go off camera it was right there smell good like propane you start playing with a mixture this thing just dies in a hurry you shouldn't do that.
tell you what, I'm about ready to crush this thing with a trico. Oh. Life shouldn't be that complicated. making air while ago. I had it riven up and making air. Now the thing's just acting retarded. is bigger than that GX160 anyway. The GX160 apparently is wore out. Actually, this compressor sat on my flatbed truck right behind the headache rack for about 10 or 12 years. Usually mostly covered up pretty good. I'd have a tarp doubled, folded over it, and a couple chains laid over it. I'm sure it didn't do the Honda no good. I had a I had a time getting that pulley off of it so I could put it on this one. But my air compressor's fixed. I mean, hey. Yeah, it's a predator. But it works. It's running. And now I think I can kind of halfway depend on it. Yeah, it's a, it takes a little technique to start it. I think the the best way to do it is pull on the rope real slow a couple of times so it can suck a little propane into the engine and then pull hard and it'll start right up at least that's that's what it done just a second ago you just kind of gotta figure those little things out when you switch to propane with a different engine with especially with a $28 kit you know I mean that that dual fuel setup right there was literally $28 and I've just got it on a 20 pound bottle now but I'm going to mount an RV bottle on the frame and run me a hose up in the bed of the truck and I'll be able to run my generators and compressors from the bed of the truck on propane because I have a very poor opinion in today's gasoline even when you uh even when you buy non-ethanol or what is supposed to be non-ethanol gasoline, it ain't no good. It's still sorry. It ain't no good. Propane will sit in that tank for a hundred years and still run this engine. Now that's my point. Sometimes the thing will sit around for several months and I won't use it. But when I go to use it, I really use the heck out of it and I need it to be dependable. So, propane it is. I hope y'all enjoyed all this mess and everything on me working on this. I'm going to do a whole bunch of that uh, in uh, time lapse. I'm going to speed it up because, and I'm going to delete a bunch of it. There's no need in y'all seeing me doing all that cranking. And there's my phone ringing, but that don't matter. I'm going to ignore it because I'm going to finish this. Anyway, if y'all like watching me work on junk... Click like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell up there in the corner so you'll see when I put up new videos. Y'all have a good one.